I love the Twilight Zone. Watch it every night. I know like every episode by heart. But it's not on Saturday night. So I was flipping around on the TV to see what's on and came across a CSI SUV Special Victims Unit. It's one of those crime dramas. I think it's actually New York Undercover. And I see Richard Belzer on there. What the hell is Richard Belzer doing on that show? You know, Richard Belzer, great stand-up comedian, if you're familiar with his work, but that really looked like a police detective or a cop or anything, you know. Richard Belzer, he looks like he could be blown over by a short, quick fart. You know, I, I don't know, I guess he has a good agent or something because... Richard Belzer has a skinny head. That's true. That's true. I'm not making that up. Richard Belzer is actually listed in the Guinness Book of World Records as being the person with the skinniest head in recorded human history. It's true. You can look it up. And when I say skinny, I mean narrow. And when I say narrow, I mean like three centimeters, I think. It's like this, Richard Belzer's head. How skinny is it, you ask, porcupine? Richard Belzer's head is so skinny, he could use it as a quarter in the coin slot of a Coke machine. Now, that's true, that's true. He can actually put his head in the coin slot of a Coke machine, and he's got kind of a long neck too, right? So he can put it down there far enough to trigger the mechanism however many times required to get a soda or two sodas or empty the machine of sodas for free because he has he just has the gift the gift of skinny head it's true it's fact so so you know that Richard Belzer the actor the comedian you know, and he doesn't need the money. Clearly, he's on, you know, New York Undercover or whatever. You know, he probably gets $4 million a year or something. He doesn't really need this extra gift of being able to go and get free shit out of, you know, vending machines. But nevertheless, that's how, you know, the rich get richer and the poor get poorer. So you just know that Richard Belzer, wherever he lives, he probably got a home on the East Coast, home on the West Coast. You know, home in Beverly Hills, home in the Hamptons. Wherever he lives, you know, he's probably got his whole house is just full of, like, free stuff from vending machines. You know, sodas stacked up everywhere, free frozen burritos, you know, old sandwiches, you know, that are way past the expiration date, and condoms, and... And uh, anything, you know, potato chips, candy bars. You just know that Richard Belzer has a stockload, a surplus of this stuff. Again, because he can. He's got the gift. The gift of skinny head. And some of you are wishing that, you know, you had that. That your head was so skinny you could use it as a quarter in the coin slot of a Coke machine or any vending machine for that matter and and get free stuff, you know. I mean... You know, life's just unfair like that sometimes, you know. And, um, you know, I, I, I'm just saying, you know, uh, is, is a fact, you know. And what the hell is Richard Belzer doing on that show, you know. He's got a good agent. If you can get the man with the skinniest head on recordable history on the primetime network syndicated crime drama... You know, that's a good agent right there, okay? I want an agent like that. Yep, that's what I need right there. This Porcupine Smith car comedy just lamenting today that some people have agents and get work that they probably don't really need and don't really deserve what other people go without. 
that's life, right? Thanks for tuning in.